why you got in? Like, what do you think got you in here? I don't know. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna cut you out the whole video. What is up, guys? It's Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Alexia. I'm currently a first year student at Northwestern University in the Medill School of Journalism. In today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I walked around Norris University Center to ask some of my friends and or random students what their stats were and or what they think was the factor that got them into Northwestern. Throughout this video, you're going to see that I ask of the student's name and their major so that you could get a sense of what program they're in. Every school within Northwestern Western has different requirements for the students. So for example, I'm in Medill. It happens to be a little bit more of a selective school because we have a tight number of students who can fit into the school. So those requirements are a little bit more selective. But yes, I'm going to have the kids tell you their majors. If you're looking to compare yourself to our current students, I a, suggest you don't do that because everyone here is different. But definitely look at least within kids in similar majors to what you're looking to do because that will be the most accurate comparison of what they're looking for. This video is purely for educational and also entertainment purposes only. It really has nothing to do with your worth as a student. It's not a clear indicator of whether or not you're going to get in. I just thought it would be something fun for you guys to be able to see the stats and or accomplishments of some of our students here at Northwestern. So without further ado, let's hop right in and ask some kids some questions. So this is my PA <laughs> Mia. Mia, say hi to the YouTube channel. I don't remember my SAT, but my AC is a 34. Hi, my name is Jonah Elkowitz. My major is journalism. Uh, my high school GPA was a 4.05 weighted and a 3.86 or 87 unweighted and I got a 34 on the ACT. The main thing that got me into Northwestern was that I came into Medill with a unique perspective through photography, which I think is something not a lot of people have done. So I think, you know, regardless of what you like to do, you know, like I liked photography, I think anything that you like and are passionate about, if you can take that to the max. It can be photography, it can be dancing, it can be video, it can be anything. As long as you try and maximize that and do the best that you can with it, I think colleges will see you stand out. My name is Charlotte Ehrlich. I am a journalism major. I think I had a 3.9 unweighted, but my scale was really complicated because we did IB. So it was like 4.6, 4.7, but I'm not that smart, I promise. And I got a 14.20 on the SAT. I think I knew that I wanted to do journalism going into it and I applied ED and they saw that I was passionate about it because that's like all I did in high school. So it kind of just worked out that I went here because it has the best of the best and apparently they thought I was even though I don't think I was. Yes you are. Hype yourself up. Okay. My name is Skylar Stone. I'm majoring in biology and psychology. Um, I got a 35 on the ACT and took 12 AP classes. I think my average score was 4.33 among all of them, so like fours and fives. Wow. Um, the primary thing that I think got me in though was because I come from like a very unrepresented area in the deep south. I come from a very, very small town. Where are you so, from? Um, I'm from Riceville, Tennessee. My name is Nicole Marcus. I'm a journalism major. And I think one thing that set me apart from other students was I had like a story through all four years of high school. I did journalism schools during the summer. I was on my high school newspaper. I was writing for local newspapers in the area, so I just had a story that kind of like was developing that shows that I was really dedicated to journalism. And it doesn't have to be, you know, your story doesn't have to be related to your major, but just something that shows that you're dedicated and passionate because schools want people who are going to be active participants when they get to school. I'm Goldie Beck. I'm a film major, and what I wrote my essay about was I started an on-the-street show in high school during lunch. And I talked about, I also was a bar mitzvah dancer, so I talked about part of my identity is just bringing people together, and I want to keep doing that through film. One thing I will say, it's very holistic, so like if you're weak in any areas, like I think what helped me is my math grade brought down my GPA, but then I got an 800 on the SAT math, so it kind of like, it kind of balances out. Northwestern specifically says they're holistic, I think they are, so, like, if you excel in a club, but you don't have the best grades, you should still just shoot your shot. And, yeah. Hello, I'm Lily Reed. I am an RTBF major. I honestly didn't have, like, the greatest stats. I had, like, a 33 on my ACT, which is, like, good. But, like, obviously it's good, but compared to, like, other people at Northwestern, it wasn't great. But honestly, I think Northwestern's, like, very holistic about 
their application process. So I was a three-sport athlete in high school, and I also did like mock trials and was on a philanthropy board and like other stuff. So I think that helped me out. Like my GPA was good though, it was over four. My name's Alani. I'm a cognitive science major. Um, I didn't submit my stats for um, my application. Um, I did a lot of diversity, like in equity work. I was involved in a lot of different like groups on campus, and I organized an annual summit. I attended like a lot of different um, diversity conferences like around the country. I played softball, I was on the varsity team um, all four years. I played volleyball, I had really good grades, I don't really remember what my GPA was, but I maintained like pretty consistent A's and minuses. My wide question was about um, one of the programs they have here, the MMSS program. Okay. Um, and I wrote about that and just how I really appreciated the intersection between like STEM classes and humanities and how they were able to like make um, a program that like includes all of it. I'm Lynn, I'm an RTBF major. My stats in high school weren't the greatest. I like got, I think, 3.8 unweighted, um, 4.5 weighted, but like that obviously depends on like how the high school scales it. I got a 1500 super score, which is like, fine. I think I wrote my essay on um, like working at my parents' store and like even since I was little. So it, the whole theme was like what a boss is and like how it's like through different stories instead of like currency. Um, and then I think what helped a lot was that my application was really focused. I like all my extracurricular activities like kind of fell under like a category of like activism and being really active in my community. I'm Aaron. Oh. I'm an RTBF major. Um, I got a 34 on my ACT. I got a 4.9 GPA. I got into Northwestern, I think, because I'm like well-rounded, and I went to a fairly rich school, which had a lot of like opportunities for me to do stuff. My name's Jeff. I am an RTBF student, first year here at Northwestern, um, and I'm from Rockford, Illinois, which is about an hour and a half west of here. It's very Midwest. I ended up going test optional. I did not do well enough on the SAT or ACT. I got like a 1210 on the SAT, I'm pretty sure. My grades were fine, but I again went to kind of crappy public high school in Rockford, so it wasn't very competitive. Uh, I think what got me into Northwestern was I was super involved in just anything Rockford had to offer, and I ended up getting placed into a really weird pseudo student council with the superintendent and I was able to get him to write me a letter of recommendation. So I think that was a pretty big gold star on my application. I'm Sarah, as a report, I'm a bio major and then probably gender studies. I got a 1560 on my SAT and I was valedictorian of my high school. Also captain of the tennis team and the soccer team and I had a podcast in high school. Ooh, yeah. what kind of podcast? Let them know. It about, plug it, plug your it was, podcast. It was about mental health. No, it doesn't. It's, well, it's still out there, but I haven't done it in like forever. But yeah, that's, I don't know why, I, I don't know why I got it. Sure, probably, probably, it was probably, yeah, the score is probably. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and or entertaining to you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below or you could reach out to me on my Instagram at livelikelex. I will leave that right up here. And I encourage you guys to check out the rest of my videos about Northwestern on my channel. I have a whole entire playlist titled Northwestern. I have fun videos about my first day of classes. I have some dorm tours going up, more fun stuff like that if you're interested. I hope you guys have an amazing day and go cats. <laughs> my AC <laughs> oh, you guys stop. <laughs> <laughs> he has multiple cameras. Aaron, for a film major, you should be comfortable being around this many cameras. Uh, oh, let's pull up another one. I'm I'm a uh, film major, I'm not an actor. I used to 